uh, we're going to create a game called Memory Arrows. And I'll tell you what the game is all about. We're going to have a big arrow on the middle of the screen, okay? And then it's going to point to different directions. And then the player has to memorize all the directions that it's pointing to so that we can repeat those, those, those um, instructions. But if we miss out, then it says game over, you lose. Every time I click on the flag, there's just one random number between one and four in the list. Now for our puzzle game, we want to make it so that you don't just remember one item. We want to remember, let's start off with something simple. Let's start off with three, okay? So now we have to add three random numbers to the list. So now we need to use a repeat block, okay, or a loop, and then make sure that we repeat it exactly three times. So we go into control, and then we go repeat 10, change it to repeat three. So go into control, go repeat 10, change it from repeat 10 to repeat three. But then we only loop it around the pick random numbers here. So now when we press the flag, it'll always add three random numbers between one and four. And then we do this. We need to add an if else block. Go into control, if then else, right, this one. Not this one, not if then, this one, if then else. Very important, if then else. So there's, it looks like a fork. When I receive right, what do I want to do? I want to check if that first item in the list is, is right, is equal to one. So in order to do that, I need to go to an operator just to check if uh, something is equal to one. So I go to operators and I go something is equal to something. Uh, whoops, no, this one. Something is equal to 50 over here. We change it to one. Down here, okay? Down here, this hexagon, this pointy one. Something is equal to one. Right here. Check if something is equal to one. And then we drag it into the if statement. If what is equal to one? Well, we said that it's the first item in the list because it's the first thing that is added to the list when we do the memory game. So it's item one of list. The item one of this. So we go into variables. And then we scroll down to item one of list. Excellent. We don't have to change it. Item one of list. Right, this one right here. See it? So item one of list. Make sure it's item one of list, not the other one. Item one of list. All right. Now I just want to show you show you this so that you can see exactly what's going on. So when I add when I start the game, this is what it's doing. It's saying uh, two, one, four. It's added two, one, and four to the list. And then when I click on the left button, which is number two, what it does is it checks the first item of the list to see if it is equal to number two, remember? So when I press on two here, it's gonna delete that first item of the list. And now the first item of the list is not two anymore, it's one. So now I gotta press on this button to delete it from the list. And now I gotta click on Number four item of the list, which is up. But if I click on the wrong one, it won't delete it. And then it will say game over. 